Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sam or XJaws, and today I'm bringing you guys a Team Deathmatch commentary on the map Radiation, and today I'm bringing you guys a pretty good game with the Gold MPL, actually a flawless Team Deathmatch game. I don't want to spoil it, I won't tell you guys the exact score, but it's a pretty good game, had lots of fun uh, recording this, playing this game, and I thought I'd talk a little bit about the submachine guns in Black Ops. Specifically, I'm going to focus on the MPL, and I'm going to be doing some comparisons uh, to the AK-74U. So, in my personal opinion, the MPL might be the second best gun in um, the submachine gun category and that's not really saying much is it uh, this is a, it might be the second best submachine gun but it's probably like you know the, the 12th best 12th best gun in the game I think there's 11 assault rifles uh, then there's the uh, the AK 7 for you and then there's the MPL um, it just seems that these days uh, if you were to take a survey 90% uh, of people are using uh, assault rifles 10% are using submachine guns or you know whatever if you if you were just looking at assault rifles and submachine guns it'd probably be something like a 90 10 or 80 20 split and then if you were to look below that at the split between people who are and aren't using AK-74 use, again, it would probably be something along the lines of 90-10 or 80-20. So that means that the, the not-so-great uh, SMGs are the ones that <laughs> aren't the AK-74 U, um, for lack of a better word, uh, for lack of a better um, description, um, just don't get used that much. And the MPL falls in that category, unfortunately, and uh, I'll tell you why. It's, it's pretty uh, simple, actually. Uh, when you look at the way this gun balances with the AK 74 u you're looking at five factors. Um, six if you want to, you can go for six. Anyway, I'll just get into it. You're looking at rate of fire, uh, damage, uh, recoil, um, magazine size, attachments, and that, that's five. And then if you want to go to the sixth, you can, and that would be the iron sight. And the iron sight on both the 74 u and the MPL are completely manageable, so uh, we'll leave that as a constant in this little equation. Um, but yeah, if you look at the magazine size, both do relatively well. The MPL actually is the AK-74U AK beat by just a little bit. Uh, if you look at damage, AK-74U's got the MPL beat by uh, quite a bit, uh, 10 points in fact. The AK-74U does 40 damage, MPL does 30. Uh, but then when you look at the rate of fire, what you're going to see is that the MPL seemingly has a little bit of a comeback. A lot of people would look at this and be like, oh, I see why Treyarch did this. The AK-74U you know, has the extra damage and the MPL has the extra rate of fire. But when you actually think about the way that the gun is going to be used in game, basically you're going to lose ammo a lot faster and you're going to need to be a lot more accurate with the MPL, which just makes it a less desirable gun to use and simply makes the AK-74U quote unquote a little bit more noob friendly. So, you know, I'm not here trying to bash the AK-74U. I certainly use it myself and I certainly don't want to ridicule anyone else who uses it because I don't have a problem with it personally. But I do see why it, you know, has happened. Why um, the AK-74U is, is such a popular weapon because the the guns that come close to stacking up against it just don't fare well. Because what you know, Treyarch thought it would be a good idea to do is make the guns that you know don't stack up to that gun necessarily um, with magazine size or uh, damage. They decided to use rate of fire, and when you increase the rate of fire that clip size is going to have to be a little bit more than just two bullets greater uh, which is the case with the MPL and then on top of that they don't even have extended mags for the MPL I mean that's just insulting um, to be quite honest but anyway guys I'm not not trying to be a Debbie Downer not trying to be a negative Nancy here just trying to uh, tell you guys a little bit about what's on my mind when it comes to Black Ops final score to this game was 27 kills and zero deaths a flawless victory and uh, that dog in the kill cam it gives me shivers down my spine. I love seeing dogs attack people in Final Kill Cams. I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the game. Give it a like rating if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.